Okay, my name is Murato from DBCLS, and I'd like to introduce some uh, feature of the JPost uh, program builders. Okay, so JPost stands for the Japan Proton Standard uh, Repository and Database, which consists of three parts. Uh, one is the repository, uh, which is for the uh, Proton data submission uh, based on the mass spectrometry. Uh, experiments, and which is uh, necessary for publishing the papers uh, describing that uh, data and interpreting the data. And uh, uh, one of the feature, good feature of this uh, repository is a high-speed uh, file uploading system, which uh, is a, a, a very use, uh, easy use for the uh, user for the uh, repositories. And the second. Uh, Part of the JPost is a reanalysis protocol. So we have developed a, a standard protocols for reanalyzing uh, 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 repos uh, data repository in the repos uh, JPost repository. So uh, all the uh, data uh, uh, stored in the repository are reanalyzed by our protocols and then stored in the third part, uh, the database part, which we call the JPost DB. And this database is uh, all the RDF based, and the, we also provide a viewer and the analysis tools for the data. And uh, currently, we are working on the proteogenomics uh, data to that. So uh, we uh, developed uh, some interface, graphical interface, to uh, query the uh, reanalyze the uh, protein data, which, which you can use a keyword search by facet, and uh, you can select the uh, uh, data sets by to compare the uh, two samples or two data sets like a disease data set and the normal data set and the then you can uh, do the, some enrichment, enrichment analysis for those and this is one example for the uh, uh, graphical interface for the expression differences analysis so you can select the uh, uh, up up regulated and down regulated uh, proteins from the uh, compared to the set, and the map the results to the uh, cake pathway uh, network or the geo uh, ontology network. And the one of the feature of the uh, proteogenomics type of the analysis is that uh, you can uh, map the uh, peptide sequence onto the protein sequence, and the, if you if you have uh, some variation in the protein sequence, you can see the uh, sequence variant uh, tag here. And you can also uh, compare the, uh, these variants to this Swiss plotter, unique plotter annotation. And uh, this is uh, just the uh, enlarged part. So the, uh, this is a summary of this. So, and the next thing is uh, to uh, expand uh, Proteome data into the multiomics data, like uh, proteogenomics data, uh, by collaborating with the Glycom team, and also the proteogenomics uh, data for mapping the protein variant to the genomic uh, sequences. So we are uh, we, we would like to collaborate with uh, people from the genomic or genome browser uh, researchers uh, to to integrate all the information to the proteomics data. And this is the uh, JPOS team, and uh, eight members of, from the team are participating in, participating in this uh, biohackathon, so uh, please uh, collaborate with us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.